Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and welcome if this is your first time stopping by. So today's video is going to just be a really quick get ready with me using the Frozen 2 Anna set. I'm going to do one set with Anna stuff and one set with Elsa stuff. Um, just because I've had these things in my collection for a while now. I just never got around to filming and I really want to showcase all of the items that come in the set. This is still available on Colourpop.com, so if you are interested, go check it out. Um, so this is the Frozen 2 set. The boxes are absolutely beautiful. I love the way they're packaged. And then when you open it, you got your palette, your lip gloss, your lipstick, and your body glitter. This is the one thing I probably will not use, but I will try to use everything else today and see where this makeup will take us. So first, I'm going to do my complexion as always because that is one of my favorite things to do, and then we will get started into the collection itself. So starting off, I'm going to be priming with the Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. This is just like any other kind of silicone-based primer, to be completely honest. There's nothing super in, like amazing about it. Um, but it does feel really nice on the skin and it also feels, even though it's mattifying, it feels pretty hydrating. So that's nice. And I think it's because this is a skincare brand. So they do want to, um, try to take care of the skin as best as possible. I'm just going to pull my hair back really quick. For foundation, I've been absolutely loving trying out, I have a sample size of this and it is the Tarte Found Sealer. Mine is in the shade Light Beige. I will be purchasing the full size of this once this runs out and once I use up more products again. I told you guys I'm on a spending freeze. So before, until then I just have to use this up and any other foundations I already have. And I'm just gonna blend this out using a uh, Real Technique sponge, yes. And just spread this out on my face, pat it in, you know, the usual drill. Okay, so while I'm applying this, um, tell me some new shows or documentaries or movies that you are really enjoying. I have been obsessed with so many different um, things on Netflix. Um, I'm currently watching The Devil Next Door, which is about Ivan the Terrible. Um, I also watched Don't Bleep with Cats, um, which is very, very creepy. And if you like to watch those kinds of like murder, uh, criminal sort of documentaries like myself, <laughs> then you'll really like it. But it is very creepy and it gave me nightmares, but I still recommend it. It was really well done. Um, so I want to know what you guys have been watching. What is something that I should watch that you guys really, really like. Going in with Tarte Shape Tape, gone back to my original um, concealer. I haven't used Tarte Shape Tape in quite a while, but I switched over back to this because I have had it in my collection. My skin was finally light enough to use it. Blending that out with the same sponge. Lately, I have been trying to bake more, but because I don't have to wear this makeup long term today, it is just like, this is like more than halfway through the day. Um, then I, I'm not going to be baking today. I'm just going to go into my regular Stay Matte Powder and Transparent. To have a nice blank slate on the lids, I'm going to be using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of the Stay Matte Powder just to set that and make sure it doesn't crease. Moving on to bronzer, I'm going into the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. And this one is in the shade Sunkissed. You have to use a pretty light hand with this, to be honest. Um, it is a lot more pigmented than you would think. Um, I have been using my Fenty bronzer all summer. I've hit pan on it, um, but it's kind of too dark for me, and so I switched to this one, and then this one has that like cooler tone, so it's not as warm toned as my Fenty one, so it's not as summery looking, but this is just as dark. So this will be really good for like contouring. I do mostly just bronze, however, and this is really good for just like a good sculpt. Really quickly, I'm gonna hop off camera, do my brows, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so brows are on, moving on to eyeshadow. So I'm really excited to get into this palette. This is the Anna Pressed Eyeshadow Power Powder Palette, and it has nine shades in it. Let's open you up. So these are the shades that come in the palette. They're really, really pretty. I like that it comes in a mirror with a mirror so it's easy to travel with if you wanted to bring this palette somewhere with you. Um, like 
you know, traveling, super easy and compact. There are a lot of great shades in here. I honestly have no idea what kind of look I'm doing, but we're gonna just start and see where it takes us. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have seen this movie yet, but it is really good. I, <laughs> I like this one a lot more than the first one. The music from the first one is more memorable, however, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys thought if you've seen it. Um, first, I'm gonna go in with Wind, which is a really nice warm mid-tone brown. I'm taking a fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to start to apply that right into the crease and kind of almost like really lightly apply it so it kind of becomes our nice transition shade as well. Then going in with the same brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Fearless, which is a little bit more of a cooler toned mid-tone brown, but it still has like warm accents. I'm really bad at describing colors, so I hope that helped at all. <laughs> Well, at least a little bit maybe and I'm gonna focus this more right into the crease right in the area below where we put that transition shade kind of bring a little bit more um, depth to the eye going into a smaller crease brush this is my favorite brush I'm gonna go into the one that says charades all of these have a lot of meaning to the movie so if you have not seen the movie you may not understand them but um, they're really cute names. If you have seen the movie, you'll understand. I'm putting this directly into the crease. Um, and I'm making sure I don't go above the crease at all. If you can see where I'm putting it. I'm just placing the color with this tiny brush and then I'll show you what I will do next. Going back in with the same brush that we used for the crease, I'm going to just blend this out and for the lid we're gonna go into earth all over the lid and then to accent the inner corner we're gonna use scooch you scooch maybe i should understand what that means if you guys know what that means let me know but i'm gonna go into earth which is this beautiful gold color i'm gonna do it without any fix plus or um like additive to see how it applies on its own. I'm not sure I'm in love with the color tone of it. It's a little too golden for me, but it's very pigmented and it's applying really beautifully with out any like liquid or water to make it more intense. So what I'm gonna do to just kind of work with that is I'm gonna go back into the crease brush and Fade out those edges, making it a little bit more of a seamless gold shade. And then using the same lid shade brush, I'm gonna go into this first color, which I can't pronounce, and I'm gonna put that on top instead of just in the middle inner corner. I wanna see how it performs. This has like a duochrome to it. It's like a cream color with a pink duochrome. I think I like that a little bit better and we kind of got a cut crease going on now with that shade i'm going up a little bit higher on this side going in with this tart fluffy crease brush i'm going to go into warm hugs which if i could i would have just put this all over the lid but can't take it back now um so i'm just going to put the purple shade under the lid or on the lower lid oh so pretty <laughs> Makes me so happy. And then going into um, Autumn Breeze, I'm gonna go make that a little bit deeper right near the lash line. And going into Adventure, I'm gonna do this on the outer half of the lower lash line and bring it up to the upper lid. So then going back into the first brush that we used to create the crease, we're just gonna blend out those edges. Make it a little bit more seamless we went pretty far out on this side so we're gonna have to do some clean up there and i think i'm gonna leave it there i used every color except for arendelle which is the one right in the middle and i'm gonna do a quick little cleanup so going back into my rimmel stay matte powder i'm going to just take some of this and just kind of clean up those edges right there um, wipe away any fallout that I might have had because I do have some fallout on the face. I'm going to stay on the theme of ColourPop. So I'm going to go into a smile and a song. Um, super Shock Cheek Pearlized from the Disney Designer Collection. This is the first one that came out. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques 
setting brush. I always use a setting brush to do my highlight. And I'm going to just focus that right on the high points of the cheek there, bringing some color to the face, or some brightness to the face there. Highlight on the nose as well. And then for blush, I'm really wanting to go into the Rapunzel Blush Floating Lights from the Disney Designer Collection, the second one, uh, the Masquerade one. And I'm going to put this on the cheeks, bringing it up kind of high because I kind of want to emulate Anna and her like blushing cheeks. So bringing it pretty high up, close to the eye and putting a little, just right across the nose, like all princesses have that little rosiness to them. So I'm really liking this. I'm going to put on some mascara and I'll be right back. So mascara is on. We're gonna move on to lips. The lipstick that comes in this collection comes in this beautiful purple packaging and it's in the shade Going North. It's the cream finish and it is a neutral brownish shade. Anna represents a lot more of the earthy tones, so <clears throat> I like that they went with this lipstick color. I'm going to go in with a lip liner just to clean up the edges. And last but not least, I'm going to go into the gloss that comes in here and it is called Free Spirit and I like that it's like a creamy nude color. You could wear this on its own easily and then if you top the lipstick with it, it looks like a really beautiful deep nude. My only complaint is that this wand is very stiff. I thought it was gonna be like a flexible one. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me trying out the new Frozen 2 collection from ColourPop. It is so hard to keep up with them, but you guys know I always keep up with their Disney stuff because it is some of the best inexpensive collections to try out with makeup if you want to play with color. I love using ColourPop. So I think they did a really good job at emulating Anna's character through this collection. I wish I could try the glitter, but I honestly just don't really use glitter all that often except for on my eyes. And that's not necessarily made for eyes. But the eyeshadows are really, really pretty. I think they blended out really nicely. I like the purple accents and I tried to use all ColourPop with the cheeks and everything that I have from them. I don't have a concealer or a foundation. Um, I could have used a brow stuff, but I'm out. So I tried my best. If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for you to join my family here on YouTube. I am going to be making two videos every week starting this week, and I hope that you guys will choose to follow my journey. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all so, so much, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.